Hello, everyone. Something a little bit different I want to do today. I just want to make this little video basically ranting. Um, apparently, YouTube's just like kind of update. They have decided to apparently get rid of dislikes on YouTube. Well, not entirely get rid of. You can still dislike a video, but to the public, the dislikes are not visible on videos. And but the content creator can see the dislikes. I guess via going through their creator studio. Because even for me on my video where anybody can watch it, the dislikes are not there. So I decided I'm going to do this little video and just give my opinions on it. Hey folks, you may have seen a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. Now... Yeah, uh, no. I heard about it a few days ago. I got like a thing on my phone. And the way I read it, it sounded like it's going to be an option for us creators. But now it seems like that is not the case. I did not select for my dislikes on my videos to be uh, disabled. If you're like me, you were surprised by that. Yeah, kind of. I mean, part of the reason I like YouTube is because you have a dislike thing. Most sites don't have that. YouTube and Reddit are the only sites I can think of off the top of my head that allows users to, you know, say whether or not the content that is posted is good or not. Instagram doesn't have a dislike. Facebook doesn't have a dislike, although a few years ago they did add, like, some reaction emoji so you can say whether or not, you know, the post may be sad or angry or whatever, but it's still not a dislike, but Okay, so I guess one for kind of for Facebook, but yeah. I mean, I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not, if it's a helpful tutorial or not, or if what a creator is is saying in their video is generally agreed with or not. Uh, yeah, it pretty much does. For the most part, what I've noticed before you put this rule in, okay, not necessarily you, but whoever implemented this thing generally okay if a video has a bunch of dislikes then chances are what that video is about a lot of people don't agree with and i mean that is that that is pretty much true there and the majority of time that is the case the majority of time when you come across a video with a bunch of dislikes the video is shit. But unfortunately, research teams at YouTube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video that I had never experienced as a creator and you may not have either. Apparently groups of viewers are targeting a video dislike button to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. Okay, and that's that individual's choice. Okay, I, you know, I have experienced this before a couple of times. Uh, the comment no longer exists. I, the person's account, I guess, got deleted or whatever. But somebody disliked my video, you know, it told me that they disliked the video. So what? And I also have another video, oh, it's the most, whatever else, board type, whatever. And it has a ton of dislikes. And the thing is, the video, he, this person, I, I did a little rant, whatever, on another YouTuber. And this YouTuber has a lot of fanboys or whatever who can't agree. So yeah, they're, they're, they're they just dislike my video. Just cause. That's it. Not, you know, 
because I didn't agree with their idol, so that's why they disliked it, I'm pretty sure. But, okay, so what? When you upload something, okay, to YouTube, and or any, any site, right, that's social media, chances are, if somebody comes across said post, there is a chance that they are going to not like it, just because they can. That's it, like, they're, they're called trolls, okay? Some people just hit the dislike button just because. That's part of the internet. That's a big problem when half of YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. Right. I'm going to... When you do it, actually, I worked in a comment. Texas Plinking here says, quote-unquote, YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. Unless they disagree with it. When you do shit like this, okay, when you do shit like this, you're basically silencing part of your community, or part of the, yeah, part of the community or your community, yes, no. You're not giving people who just like the content a voice. You are basically silencing them. So, earlier in 2021, YouTube experimented with making the public dislike count private to see if it would help reduce these coordinated dislike attacks. No, I don't think it will. Because I have a strong feeling, and I mean, I might be wrong on this, and if I am, I am, whatever, but I have a feeling that if you were to or not necessarily you, or whoever runs the, you know, who's in charge of, you know, all this here. I have a very strong feeling that if they were to put the dislike thing back on, that this video would have way more dislikes than the likes. It's right now, it's at 21,000. I have a feeling that this here would be tiny compared to the dislike. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to the dislike, but I'm not going to, okay? Just because I really don't feel like it. I don't... Okay, but maybe, maybe I will later. Let's continue the video and see what you have to say. ...across the platform. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. So, the update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying but the dislike counts will now be private. Okay, so the dislike button is staying, but the dislikes are private. Okay, and again, there are likes. I, I don't agree with that at all. I, I mean, it's kind of funny to hear her say, but I like seeing videos with dislikes. It lets me know. You know, it lets others know for if the video is good or not. I, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but... Yes, there are people who dislike videos just to dislike them because they don't like to read or, or whatever, or just to be a shithead, right? But the majority of the time, people who have videos up that have a fuck ton of dislikes, right? The, what the video is about, people do not agree with. And also, before this whole dislike thing was implemented before again video that had gotten a, a bunch of dislikes people a video that no one agreed with or very little agreed with right sometimes those creators would disable the like and dislike thing and that was another sign that the video wasn't good because when i see a video where likes and dislikes are disabled, and especially comments, it gives the impression that the video is not good. But when I see this, it's making me think, well, this video is shit. So let's move on to another video. You can still dislike videos, and that action will be used to tune your own recommendations, but you won't be able to see the dislike count. Only the creator can find it on the back end if they want. Now, a few common questions we saw from the initial experiment. First, 
Without a public dislike count, how can viewers tell if a video is worth watching? Again, I Yes, how can we tell if a video is worth watching? I kind of had this question too, but it turns out that while viewers might use the dislike count to give them a sense of a video's worth, when the teams looked at the data across millions of viewers and videos in the experiment, they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership, regardless of whether they could see the dislike count or not. In other words, it didn't really matter if a video had a lot of dislikes or not, they still watched. Yeah. Uh, that's happened, that happens a lot. I will come across a video that I don't like, right? And I still watch it or listen to it to hear the person's opinion, you know? Uh, what's your point? Just put it back, okay? Or at least give us the choice, okay? Give us the choice whether or not to show on our videos, whether or not we want this likes to be shown to the public. Obviously, you can tell that I do. I want this likes to be shown on my videos if I happen to get this likes. I want the likes to be shown if I happen to get likes. I want this stuff to be shown. Next common question. If creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? Good point. Yes, how is that any different? Because, say, I am getting a bunch of dislikes, whatever, on this video, or any video I upload, and I can still see that. Like, what's the difference? Because, you know, some people do get a bunch of dislikes because of being trolled, and that will demotivate them to create content. To me, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't demotivate me, but... They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab, but overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment if the count isn't visible to the public. Okay, well, here's an idea. If you don't want to be embarrassed, or increase your chance of being embarrassed, don't post shit on the internet, right? And one more common question. Is this because YouTube Rewind got lots of dislikes? Mm, it might be. No. Although... Really? Okay. Yeah, I, I mean... So there are some teams internally who have learned the hard way what it feels like to get lots of dislikes. It, yeah, it hurts. It can hurt when you have a bunch of dislikes. Whatever. That's part of... Not just the internet, but like in everyday life, that's part of, in the real world, not everybody is going to like you. There are going to be people who hate you just cause, just because they can. But yes, it hurts, but, or it can hurt, whatever. You move on. You take what? People do like you and you, you know, engage with them. You cannot please everyone. If someone dislikes something, let them dislike it. Now, this again is about protecting all creators and making sure they have a chance to succeed and feel safe in doing so. Okay, again, uh, quoting this comment here. YouTube's mission is to get everyone a voice. Unless they disagree with it. Exactly. Alright, so that's the update. I hope it doesn't cause too much frustration. Honestly, I think you're going to get used to it pretty quickly. And keep in mind, other platforms don't even have a dislike button. Yeah, and there's actually a comment where somewhere else on a different video stating, you know, sites that do this. They are very, how they said, toxic. Uh, good luck, YouTube. Good luck, I, you know, damn, what the hell, there you go, you burned yourself a dislike. So, consider that, thank you, and I hope you're well. Thanks man, you too. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, then please leave a comment and a like, and subscribe, if you'd like to support the channel, then consider becoming a patron. I have a $1 tier and a $3 tier. $1 tier 
you get your name that appears at the beginning and end of each video. Your name also goes into the description of the video. $3 tier, same thing as $1 tier, but I will also shout out your name and I'll put in the description along with your name one link of your choice to one of your social medias. If you'd like to support the channel more or whatever, buy some merch. I have a Streamlabs merch shop. You can see the link at the top here. Again, things in the, the link will be in the description. I have t-shirts, mugs, and a couple other things you can check out. I even have a red bubble. I have like a sticker and a clock and a couple of things there as well on red bubble. If you'd like to commission me to draw your original character, I have a Fiverr starting at $10 and t-shirt artwork and artwork in that is done by Johnny Bush and the music is done by Roman Sermon. The woman wearing the shirt here is Shelly, Roman's wife. Thank you for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful day, good night, and do